Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, some more Peglin action. Uh, I know we played the Spin Venter last time and we got a, a dub, right? But I really like the Spin Venter. I was just mentioning to Twitch, I think it's my favorite class. Uh, this class and the Baladin are both at Crucible 8 right now. So I was like, you know what? I'll keep, we'll keep striking on the, the Spin Venter class. What are these? Whenever pegs are refreshed, they are graded by plus one. Refresh perspective. I don't think I've ever had this. All right, we're building a refresh build. Or at least that's what we're gonna try and grab a lot of. Now I know one of the other relics there was a, a refresh lover. What can you do about it, right? Anyway, flow chart, open it up. The flow chart says don't hit the bomb immediately like that. I think it's fine as long as you wait a little bit longer. Even if I set it off now, I'm probably completely fine. There's only one big slime left. I mean, big slime, I mean, moderately sized slime. Now, I tell you what other relic could be good. The, I can't remember what it's exactly called, but the one that has like a, a foliage like icon where it puts 10 refreshes on the board, but the only refresh four pegs or whatever it is. That could be kind of interesting. I'd be getting many more refreshes. It'd be upgrading fewer pegs, but the pegs that get upgraded, I think will get to higher numbers. Anyway, give me a bit more gold, please. Thank you, and we're out. Refreshes the board when fired. This is the dream. I don't need to see anything else. Perfect. Now do I want an early treasure chest? Damn right I do. I'm not even going to risk it. No greed here. Bombs dealing extra 10 damage? I'm never going to be unhappy with this. Now, here is the next thing I need to decide. I could go for an elite, or I could go treasure chest into elite. I think I'll go treasure chest into elite. Which means... I'm going to go right, just in case I mess up this area. Because if I get this elite fight, it's still pretty good. Heal one for every peg hit while successfully navigating. I do like that. Uh, greed enabler. I like it, but I probably shouldn't. Or the best relic in the game. That I'm going to try and remember to use because I got a slightly... Not an upset comment. Okay, it doesn't matter. We're not going to get it. But it's like, just, you know, remember you still have the ambidextionary, right? I was like, yeah, sorry, I sometimes forget about it. it I mainly, okay, we are going to fight the Elite, I think. I mainly forget about it when I'm not really looking for, like, a combo piece of my orbs. Like, if I've just got, like, a sack like this where it's a bunch of pebbles and just two orbs that don't really do anything for me, uh, sometimes I forget about it. So, apologies, apologies. I am but a, I am but a, a human. I am very fallible. Anyway. Put a few refreshes on the board, please. Uh, I'll take this crit. Hit as many pegs as possible. We want to unsheath the bombs again. That's slight pain, but it should be fine. All right, hit the bomb. Okay, we have the other bomb free as well. By the way, the bombs do 60 now, remember. They're super bombs. <laughs> slight pain. One last bomb. Now we refresh. And all these pegs that we hit before. Hang on a minute. This refreshes when fired. Right? Just checking. Uh, all these pegs get upgraded. Very cool. I think we are going to get smacked a little bit maybe. Oh, maybe we don't. Maybe I just sneak out of this. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Now, whoops. Next thing I need to check, where is the nearest shop? It's pretty far away. I'm going to hold my money, though, and try and do big shop things. Every 30 pegs hit converts to a bomb. Synergistic with improved catalyst. Anti-synergistic with the refresh perspective. So I'm not going to take that. I've done bomb builds before. They're not that uncommon. Uh, and we've won runs with it. I don't think I've ever played a run with the refresh perspective, so. 
Right, what do I want to go for next? I guess I go for some question mark tiles and hope they turn into elite fights. Because I'm feeling pretty strong right now. Got a little bit lucky there. Remove an orb, remove all orbs. No, I, there's an orb I need to keep. One orb is fine. Uh, offer the pebble to upgrade the replenish orb. One of the greatest deals in the history of deals. Thank you. You take my detritus. You upgrade my... What's the opposite of detritus? Like, it's like something, you know, you want. Oh my god. Another remove orb? Hang on a minute. Yeah. Thin my sack out. Have a pebble. Okay, we have a, a minor bomb synergy, so... I don't want to lean too much into it, but if we have to, we could always pivot towards that. Uh, give me another question mark tile. They've been good to me so far, this floor. Duplicate all orbs or duplicate a random one? Uh, they're both pretty bad because of spin vent originality. However, you know what? I almost always keep spin vent, spin vent originality as a thing. Duplicate them all. I have to remove te two pebbles again now, which is a bit of a shame. But I'm going to get super refreshes now. Like, every shot is going to be a refresh. I could have another one as well if I wanted to. Boards have more refreshes. I mean, that makes sense, right? Heal every time the board is refreshed. That's the one we take. We struggled, if you remember, on the last run for that very reason. Uh, we were getting like chipped down every single fight and I nearly died and then popping corn just came out of nowhere right at the end of the run and then suddenly we were fine in fact better than fine ah didn't angle that enough my bad still an okay first shot we put a bunch of refreshes on the board we discard the, st the pebble I get another refresh we start upgrading the pegs that we're hitting. I hit the refresh. I hit the refresh, I hit the refresh. We have a plus four peg in here. Now, is this better than the Swall Torb? Mm, <laughs> I'm not actually convinced that it is, but it's different. I'll give it that, it's different. And actually, the bottom row now, the upgrades are pretty, pretty tasty down there. Oh, a bouncy refresh. Hundred nine damage. Uh, okay, I missed the power slide, but did I? At this point, we really should just be farming some gold, right? We've, we've definitely cleared this stage. I mean, we've won already, so. All right, the one thing I'm missing, and it's funny, you know, I was about to say this, I don't have any cleave yet. I'll take an assemble. And I'll take an elite. I feel strong right now. While you feel strong, keep getting strong. You don't rest on your laurels. Fine. I accept this fight graciously. Refresh me. I was hoping it would just go back down the center again. Oh well. Uh, I'm just trying to hit as many pegs as I can here before I refresh again to upgrade all the pegs at the same time. Oh, I forgot you give me poison as well, so the bombs now do like 70 damage effectively. I know that's not quite the way that works, but eh, within reason. Okay. How did you go up the right side? Whatever, you hit the crit instead. Big damage. 
And now hopefully we're set up pretty nicely for the assemble to finish them off. It is only a 1-2 though. But the pegs, pretty good pegs. Alright, we killed the red slimes. Now I only need single target. I will try and hit it down the right side this time because that's where the refreshes are. Perfect. 119 damage. We just need a little bit better this time. Oh, I think he's going to get a hit on me this time. Yeah, he did. All right. It's actually a little bit annoying that I'm closing the center. I could have fired the pet ball there. Uh, I was pretty confident I would kill it regardless. So it was a, that was a bit of a misplay for me. I should have just fired the, the stone. Laser orb. Fires with huge force. Only hits refresh. Okay. Crits and bombs. Pisses through all others. It's interesting. It's interesting. But I don't think it's what I want. We might as well upgrade an orb now. We're going into a boss fight. Let's take you all the way up. When you would gain max health, increase the amount of gain by one. Or every 11 pegs hit has a random positive slime applied. Turn the board technical, please. How did I only hit one gold peg? I don't know. Okay, the normal way you do this isn't going to work with my build. So I actually think I'm going to leave the bombs on the side. Because I'm going to be refreshing the board too often to get to those bombs. Oh my god. Alright, aim for somewhere slightly different, genius. It's clearly not working what we're doing. I'm just trying to hit as many pegs on the inside as possible because that's where I'm going to soon be. Alright, give me a crit. We got a bomb. A little bit of extra damage. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned, I'm not going to lie. But we should... We're scaling, right? He's not, I am. God, I hate this map. I hate it so much. We are going to be alive. Possibly on a high difficulty, you wouldn't be. It's really thanks to the fact that I came into this fight with a lot of health. That I can get away with just doing 50 damage a turn. Alright, seven more damage. Uh, we can do that with the pebble. And we're out. Again, I don't want to turn things into bombs, so I'm going to say no to that. I don't think I want Slime Lord. More refreshes on the board? Sure. Right. Every orb will fire a copy of itself in the opposite direction. I can only aim in four directions. Interesting. Bombs are replaced with red bombs that deal more damage. Or kinetic nitrite, the good thing. I will take the good thing. I promise you at one point I will take those chains. Uh, but I kind of want to see the, the limit of this build. Oh, that was connecting me trying just doing great work. Right, now we're going to do a little bit of an upgrade. Now the assemble comes in to hit the upgraded pegs. I might actually want a swall tub as well. Okay, that was not good. I might want a swall tub as well just to push the numbers a little bit higher, faster. Alright. Oh, I didn't kill the shield! Okay, a real, little bit of a rough start, I will concede. I think I could have played my opening a little bit better as well. 
But it's just that one shot in the now. All right, go get him assembled. I really need my assemble as well to actually, you know, do just native damage. Would be very helpful. Uh, sadly, though, I can't upgrade it right now. Double shop to the left. Elite to the right. I don't have a targeted orb, so I have to be careful of Mirror Knight. I think I will go left and try and save some money. But if I go right, I'm not going to lose any sleep. Uh, we went left. This is fine. With Kinetic Meteorite, this map is so much nicer. It reminds me of... It was Arkanoid, right? The, the old arcade game. Obviously, normally in Arkanoid, you shoot from the bottom of the ball up and you hit the blocks at the top and they fall down and drop off, like, power-ups and stuff like that to make your paddle wider and stuff. It, it's basically Lona Pong, right? It was right up my alley. But not only, you know, if we got the kinetic meteorite repelling the orb, the slimes are also bouncy. So, uh, yeah, it's doing a lot of work right now. I'd love to kill one of the guys. Very close to it. We've got it. And a crit. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It's just showboating. At this point. <laughs> One day this will end. Oh. Oh. Oh, so close. There you go. That might be one of the, the most pegs I've hit in a single shot. That was crazy. All right, let's go for the refresh now. And you're dead. God damn it, another blast section orb. I can't take it because it won't combine with the other one. Oh well, save money. Deja vu. It's actually slightly different because it has the shields on the side as well. Add more enemies. Alright, get a bunch of refreshes on the board. Then hopefully the the assemble can do a bit of work. It's obviously gonna be a bit tricky still. I've not really leveled the board up enough yet. Nor the orb. But if we can kill a guy, I would be happy. We're not killing a guy. Eh. It was okay. We did put a poison slime on the board so they all took some uh, poison damage, right? Or one of them did. I saw someone get hurt by something after the shot. Yeah, they're all taking 10 damage. Right, shield's gone. Now's our time. At least until we get to the next shield guy. Ah, the heal paid. Don't lose the poison. The poison is very useful right now. It nearly killed this guy, in fact. You hate to see that. Okay, you died to poison, though. That's perfect. Yeah, I think a Swall Tub would be very nice for this build. Just to get the numbers going up a little bit faster. But I, I keep looking at my health and expecting to be in, like, the 40s or something. We're still at 75 health. I left it on two again, the shield. All right. I think it's the cookie, though, that is doing a lot of work. Yeah, okay. Again, save money. We have a shop incoming. I would like to go into the left shop if I can. 
Give me one health, please. Give me one health, please. Thank you. <laughs> I think I lost the health through that interaction, but... I'm going to pretend everything was fine. Summoning circle is fun. Refresh the board and reloads. Also kind of fun. I have to remove an orb. We need to get rid of these pebbles. I can't say no to summoning circle. It's just too fun. And actually has a really good synergy with swall top. So I'll take it. And I'll take this. Or do I go even bouncier? We already refresh the board every damn shot. You know what? House is slimy. Bounces contribute to damage and the walls are bouncy. Well, obviously this doesn't really do anything for me right now. But I like the animation, so we'll send it. And yeah, kinetic me track bouncy walls. This thing could be up here for a while, or it could just, you know, fall down within a second after me saying that. Refresh my board. Imagine growing to respect this bouncy orb. Only because it it's just super bouncy. <laughs> I think it actually is doing a lot more work than I thought it was. Anyway, try to do big AOE damage now. I'm pretty certain there was no assemble in the shop. I think I did quickly look up. Poison's gonna get the 21 health guy. Assuming I don't break the poison orb. Which I haven't. Ow, my face. Let me just try and get the kill. And currently, this is my strongest orb for single target damage. We can heal later, don't worry about it. Upgrade an orb. Yeah, sure. Start upgrading the splat orb. I wouldn't mind getting rid of the other splat orb, even though I said, you know, they're pretty good. Just to get back into spin vent, spin vent originality range. Right, we're obviously looking for 500 damage here off the rip, so the mirror doesn't roll me. I don't think we're getting 500 damage out. <laughs> the mirror is rolling me. Do I think this is going to do 300 damage is the next question? I don't think it is. I think I'd fire a pebble instead, so I don't take double mirror damage. Because I'm pretty certain the assemble we should get out with a projectile. Right, convert everything into refreshes, please. And kill the first mirror, please. Thank you. The whole board is just green right now. <laughs> what a stupid build. I love it. Alright, this side, not looking as green. So let's put some greenness on the right side as well. And now we'll try and kill the mirror. In one. Is the dream. Uh, I think we've got it. Yeah, we have. I'm, I'm telling you now, the numbers, they're getting bigger. Faster. There was a plus 10 in there, plus 11 in there. Cool. And I'm back to 100 health. Because of the cookie, right? Okay, that's pretty crazy. There is no other shop this floor, so we might as well spend a bit of money. Let's get you to tier 3. And... I want to go... Right then left.
I'll take the two chests. The two guaranteed chests. Duplicate an orb. Yeah. This is fine with Spin Vent Originality. Because I don't fire that orb. Not that I'm really playing around it, as I mentioned, but if I can get back towards it with the other orbs, like the splat orb, uh, I'll take it. That's actually pretty useful as well, now that I think about it. Uh, if only because I turn the board green. It just adds to the damage numbers. Uh, more damage reduction slime, we had that on the last run. We played around it pretty heavily on the last run. I'm not going to play around it on this run. But it'll still give me a bit of damage reduction, so... Yeah. It's good. I like it. Alright, like always, I'm just firing into a shield right now. Is it even worth firing this right now, the 1-2? Probably just, but it's fairly close to not being true. Only because I'm hitting 6 enemies, it's like 300 damage. Alright, now we clear the board, we hit all the refreshes, we break a shield. Slime the board up again with the bouncy slimes. 500 damage, very nice. 1,000 damage, even better. Alright, and now all this damage is going back into the shield again. Try and kill this guy. Look how fast he's going with the, the rubber slimes and the rubber walls and the kinetic meteorite. Holy. All right, let's add a few more refreshes to the board again. We've kind of cleaned house right now. Okay, damage, new name of the game. Rubber everything up, please. Oh, just casual. Is that 2,000 damage we're at? What is happening? 3,000? All going to a 42 health shield. You love to see it. Okay, I actually think this could get lethal now. Ah, uh, yes. That's enough critical mass of upgrades and pegs. Cool. And we're at full health, and I can't really see a gold peg, so... The wall should get hard rolled, Miami, I think. Famous last words. I'm pretty certain Swall Club build is normally the big counter for this guy. Anything with scaling makes him very upsetty spaghetti. Somehow with three orbs and I missed time that to hit the bomb. Oh well, 400 damage is going to break the shield. Good timing, genius. Add a few more refreshes. It's also just going into the shield right now, so it doesn't really matter. Ideally, I do, you know, the 130, 230, sorry, that I needed to break it, we have. Right, now we perform a little murder kill. And we're setting up the board for a big AoE damage. Hopefully. I don't even need it. <laughs> You're dead. Alright, I'll take a swall top. I may have been offered like eight times at this point, but uh, this is the first time I've noticed it. And the wall, you're going to have a really bad day. I'm sorry to say this. I'm pretty certain this is the hardest counter to you imaginable. Ah, swall top first. Excellent. You hit the pegs, you break the pegs, you upgrade the pegs. And then when I refresh the board, the pegs that were upgraded get upgraded again.
The other thing that can get screwed in this fight, by the way, is, you know, the refresh getting in a really awkward spot. Uh, but even that doesn't really count to me anymore because I've got two refresh orbs. Uh, by the way, there's a plus 48 peg here. Kind of crazy, not gonna lie. <laughs> Why is that green one so sticky? The other ones are very bouncy. I guess that one doesn't have the bounce property on it. Yeah, it just stops instantly. Oh, by the way, this is just casually 4,000 damage right now. I've not really started building my build yet. Okay, add a few refreshes onto the board. And probably kill him. <laughs> I love it. All right, goodbye. There's nothing I need to upgrade anymore, right? Because I would like to remove the other splat orb. Nope. Squirrels, attacks deal two times damage where every peg activated gets downgraded minus four damage. Hello, Nimu. Uh, it's going fine, thanks. Pegs are durable. Durable pegs is a little bit spicy. It's normally pretty good with Swalt Orb, but it's anti-synergistic with the the refresh perspective because I want the pegs to break. Uh, so I'm going to take squirrels. The most boring of the options, but the best. Oh, that guy's pretty boring as well. Swalter build should do fairly well against him. Okay, decent opening, plus three poison. Now I have a lot of stuff to refresh. We refresh it. We add refreshes to the board. And big damage. Pretty big damage. Big enough, at least. We probably don't kill this guy in one shot, though. I wish you can break the damage reduction slime. Say, Levy. All right, he's going to hit me. Kind of irrelevant. There's enough healing on the board with the cookie to uh, replenish me. Let's get Swole now as well. And you're dead. Any assembly, please? I'd like it to be more than a one two. Randomly remove half of my orbs, grab the nearest orb. I think this is the mirror orb, right? Yeah. Sure, I'll take a mirror orb. Removing half the orbs has the potential to go very wrong. There's no point risking it. Uh, I want none of these. As funny as the, the bouncy ball would be. Okay. The shops are on the right. I think I just avoid elites. Again, elites on this floor are a bit spicy. If I fight one, I fight one. What character class is this? Yeah, this is the... I think it's called the... It might just be called the scientist. I don't remember now. The special relic is a little bit late. The rare, I take nothing. And you know what? I don't care where I go. Oh, he's called the Spin Venter. That's actually his name. 
they all have a, 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 a little twist on it to make them like, you know, spherical or ball related. Do I want to take 16 damage, lose 6 max health, or get 3 pebbles? I will take 16 damage, please. And then we'll pray that we go down the right side. Okay, we're fighting an elite. And missing the shops, probably. Or possibly, at least. This is the the fight I would want to have. So, pretty content with this. I'm just going to send this out here. Mainly for the refreshes. Now I can see the, the design of the board, thanks to the, the upgrades. This should kill the guy in front of me. And now we just start getting swole instead. And hopefully every single turn from now on is just going to be kill a guy, kill a guy, kill a guy. So yeah, again, let's kill a guy. Alright, this is a lot of damage. That's... 12,000? What are we at? 13,000 damage? Pretty good run. Uh, let's do that again, itch. And again. How is someone still alive in this? There we go. Echo, all attacks all enemies. Echo plus 30. I wouldn't mind some piercing at this point. I'm going to take it. I'm going to upgrade it. I'm going to give it another upgrade. Perfect. Okay, never mind. I don't want it anymore. I'll take the Prime Rod of Frost. Uh, and we've won the run. I think it's unlosable now. I would like to go right and get a shop. Never mind. Sure. There are no shops here. Screw it. I'll fight the Elite again. What's the worst that can happen? It's the same event. We've seen how this goes. And it's not well for the enemies. Alright. Get a refresh off. Oh, interesting. If you fire the replenish orb via the summoning circle, it doesn't use the first effect, the refresh of the board when fired. Okay, that kind of makes sense, actually. I'll allow it. <laughs> I was confused for a second why the board didn't instantly refresh. But I didn't fire it, I fired this, and this came out of it. Very sneaky game. Let's just send an echo about there. Does plus 160 damage anyway. All right, it's gonna hit everything, so. This might be a who do you think you are, I am moment. However, we're not gonna be able to see it. What a great idea for a sport. Bowling, but all the lights are off, so you can't see the pins that have got hit. It, it sounds very much... I don't know if anyone else had this program, but it was called, like, International King of Games, where it was, like, an Olympics, but the events were stupid. For example, it was, like, the 100-meter dash, but the track was a 5-meter circle, so you had to go around, you know, 20 times. Quick maths. Will you stop giving me the blast, sector up? I, I beg of you. I mean, this is just... Overkill, right? At this point.
Uh, they've not added any new classes for a while, Mew Mew. They've added new relics, and they've kind of, like, defined the classes a bit better, so they all have pools of orbs that are only available to them. Some of them do go across the boundaries of multiple classes, like the Swaltorb is in the main class as well, just called Peglin. Uh, but yeah, there hasn't been a new class for a while. And honestly, I would be very surprised at this point if they add a new class again. I'm not sure how much support this game is getting anymore. The developers probably... Are I suspect at this point they're probably looking at moving on to something else. Don't quote me on this one. I don't really have any evidence to support that, but uh, it's been out for a while now, this game. And I I think almost every change they've made, and they've made a lot of changes, they've all been really good. So, but yeah, anything we get now in this game, I'm just, I'm happy with it, right? But I'm not expecting that. All right, just need to be a little bit cautious of this guy in front of me. Mm, probably not as cautious as I could have been. It's fine, we got the kill. Now we refresh the board. I thought that might occur. We should still get 75? No, okay, we'll take 35 then. Ow. But it's a realm. I'll just heal back up again. Don't worry about it. All right, just like that, back to 76. I missed the Healy Orb, uh, the Healy Slime, sorry. Genius. All right. You've been a little bit tricksy, my guy. I mean, it keeps rolling off to the side, which doesn't help me. But we're pretty close to the critical mass now, I think, that I need. How did that roll right again? There you go. Don't die to this guy. Echo 256. All right, back to 36. As long as you get out of this, you can heal. I think I will use the pebble because the pebble can hit the refreshes and give me a bit more health. And I think I'll do the 400. We did. Okay. A little bit spicy, but this is why we have extra health. Uh, extra money for health. And it was a boss. Uh, Salt Shake is pointless, really, for my build right now. Hero's Backpack is probably pointless, but will occasionally help me. Damn it. Why not? Not that I need the unicorn horn, but it, it's it's nice to get. Oh, it's this elite again. All right, let's not throw. I will give you a bit more attention this time than I did the last time. Right, let's add some refreshes to the board. You're dead. I refresh the board again, we get Swall. Probably should have gone right that time. But it's fine, worked out. Now we get Swole, we refresh the board again. We definitely do 82 damage at the very least. Well, doing a lot more now thanks to the bombs. And yeah, we're, we're actually healing right now. 
Now, does this work with Echo? I'm kind of intrigued about this, because this is currently Echo... Echo 100. I can't remember what it did last turn. It was like 200 damage. I don't think it will work. Maybe it did, actually, because they're 500 already. It's a lot of damage. And then this will have Echo of this, so this does a thousand guaranteed damage again. Like, it's so funny how the same fight can go drastically different when you actually pay attention the second time. One fight I nearly died on, the other fight I've basically healed back to full again. Bombs can be refreshed. Bombs apply one blind. Uh, let bombs be refreshable. I, I'm not too upset about that. And this is... I don't think there's any shops left, so I don't know really what I'm saving my money for. Okay, genius. Don't do that again. Just let it go. Yeah, no more shops. I should have just healed the three with my money. Oh. <laughs> Ambidextionary makes my life a little bit better as well. Commenter, I will try to remember I've got it. Right. Don't need this first. I want to fire the small top, but I can't get to it just yet. So I will use this to uncover the board. The one thing I still don't get about this board is... It feels like pegs get destroyed, or is this just a shoot the board every time? I just feel like there's something about it I don't quite fully understand. By the way, coming through again, I want to fire this orb. I want to fire it better, but I wanted to fire it. Anyway, now we do a little upgrading action. The bombs come back as well, very nice. I just broke the refreshes because why not, I suppose. Now, I don't want Summoning Orb to fire Summoning Orb. That seems counterintuitive to what I want to do. Summoning Orb, firing the Refresh Orb, though. Sure. Need to kill this guy. Kind of hoping bombs do it, though. I'm using Ambidextionary, ambidextionary to... Uh, do a lot of damage on this turn. Okay, the guy I've tagged it is dead, so that's fine. I'll just move on to the boss now. And we should be pretty good just to win now. The Prime Mode of Frost is going to make this fight considerably easier than it otherwise would have been. Piercing is so nice against this guy because the guy spawned right in front of him normally. Uh, 194... Sure. Hits everything as well, this one. Very good for the flyers. What's also nice about this one is I don't really mind hitting the red bombs as much. I'd obviously probably prefer not to, but I can heal the damage back off again fairly easily. Okay, swallow me up again. And then I'll fire multi-refresh orb. <laughs> Just looking at my health. It's fine, he's on 630, he's dead. And that's a, a B to B, back-to-back -back victory on Crucibles. Uh, and they don't come that often. So, I'm going to take it. I know it was only Crucible 8 and Crucible 9. Uh, still, though, we built a very solid run. Apparently, I have seen that relic before because I didn't get an achievement for it, so... Or I didn't get it in my little book of special things. Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, apparently I, I've never seen it. Uh, sorry, I have seen it. I have no memory of it whatsoever. I must have played with it very early on. Very good relic is my opinion on it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching YouTube. If you enjoyed this, why don't you leave a like and subscribe. Everyone helps me out. I'll see you again next time. Bye.